What's up you guys, welcome to the Single Guy channel, I'm Lloyd, and today we're going to be talking about a subject that I get asked a lot. And it's not necessarily the subject that I want to talk about, but I get asked this all the time, and there's Lloyd, what conversation topics lead to sex? Like, what sort of things should I talk about in order to get this girl to want to sleep with me? Okay, so uh, first of all, the thing that you should know, and this is like the basis of my entire video, is that it's not the conversation that leads to sex, it's the person having the conversation that leads to sex. So if you think there's going to be some magic topic that you're going to come up with, that, oh, now that I'm talking about this, now I'm going to get laid, um, well, you're looking in the wrong spot. But I can give you some topics that in general, um, I find that I've talked about them with people, and more often than not, they'll lead to sex, but it's, again, it's not the conversation, it's not in the way that you guys think so uh, the topics that I would say that generally lead to sex are like alcohol um, recreational drugs um, traveling partying hooking up like crazy stories all of these things I would say they're the subjects that I talk about that more often lead to sex than other subjects the reason why they lead to sex is because if a person is really comfortable talking about those, those sorts of things, or she has a lot of stories associated with them, or she's really into that sort of stuff, then she's probably open to hooking up with a random guy. And that random guy could be you. <laughs> so it's not the conversation topic that led to sex. Again, it was the person having the conversation that led to sex. If a girl's really, really open to talking about that sort of stuff, she probably does that a lot. She probably parties a lot, and she's probably hooked up with guys before. She'll hook up with guys again. So if you think that, uh, oh, if I bring up these topics, it's going to make her want to sleep with me. No, you just found a girl who's more open to doing that sort of stuff. And if you're looking to hook up, then find a girl who's down to hook up with you as well. And that could be a good way to find that girl. Like if a girl has, a, has tons of party stories that she loves talking about, yeah, that girl's probably open to hooking up. And if you stick around her long enough, she might hook up with you. So this is what kind of um, I think people are talking about. And so sometimes people say, well, okay, well, talking about hooking up, talking about partying, talking about all that stuff, that's going to lead to talking about sex, right? Well, yeah, it could lead to talking about sex. You could start talking about sex stories and exchange them and tell them to uh, talk about like what the two of you like and that sort of thing. And I've had those conversations a lot. I don't want you guys to think, though, that uh, talking about sex is always going to lead to sex. A lot of times it can actually shoot you in the foot. It can actually jinx it. And the reason why is because talking about sex is like a double-edged sword. On the one hand, if you're talking about it and you're doing it right, you're getting the girl more turned on, she's getting more aroused, because she's thinking about sex. When you're talking about it, you start thinking about it, and you're thinking about it too, so you're both getting more aroused as you talk about it, which is awesome. And it would be great if you, had some, if you guys were alone and it was just the two of you and she was comfortable with you. But a lot of times those things aren't happening at that moment. And the biggest thing here is the comfort area, because if you, don't, if you know anything about going out, Anyone who's gone out a lot will tell you that comfort is actually a little bit more important than uh, attraction and how horny the girl is, okay? If you have a place to, to have sex with her right then, yeah, sure, it can work. Um, but in order for you to have sex with a girl, a lot of times you need to get her in a cab, you need to have a drive back to your place, she needs to come in with you, she needs to get comfortable situated, then she needs to have, be comfortable enough to take her clothes off, then she needs to be comfortable enough to like let you put it in, okay? All of this stuff, all of those steps take comfort. If you don't have that, or unless the the attraction is so great, then she, that overcomes it, but a lot of times it's just not there. So if by talking about sex with a girl, you end up sleeping with her. A lot of times it's because you you met a girl that was really, really open sexually with strangers, um, that that's why she did it, okay? So just because you talk about sex with, with a girl doesn't mean she's down to have it with you. And actually, the, it, it puts a lot of pressure on her because now she's thinking, oh, well, now this guy is expecting me to have sex. She feels like she has to, um, <laughs> she feels like she has to live up to your expectations or, you know, you're going to feel like that too. Like I've had talked about sex with girls and then had sex with them. And I felt like the whole time they were judging me to see if I was like <laughs> as good as I thought I was, you know? <laughs> so the sex wasn't all that great. Um, but it's happened before. And the reason why it happens is because again, these women were very, very open with their sexuality. 
those are in the minority, not the majority. The majority of women uh, are a little bit scared. They're, if they really like a guy, they're going to be a little nervous to talk about that sort of stuff with them because they're going to feel like they have to live up to it. Um, but if they're with a guy that they don't care about, sometimes they'll be open to talking about sex and like who they've had sex with and stuff because you know they don't have any, they, they don't have a stake in this guy. They're not, they're not interested in him. So when I talk about these subjects, as you can see, I'm trying to look for the question within the question. Um, the reason why I think guys ask me these questions is because they feel like the conversation that they're having they need some magic topic to take the conversation to the next level to take it from this like normal boring platonic thing to something that's going to be sexually arousing that's something that's that's actually going to turn her on and make her want to sleep with you and i've already done a video about this because that's basically flirting but the thing about flirting guys is that it doesn't need a single subject or it doesn't need a particular uh topic for it to lead to sex. It's the energy between you two. Remember, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. And if you can say something, like I could be even talking about the weather, but I can do it in a flirtatious way where it's got that man to woman connection, where you're leading the conversation, where you're showing emotion, where you're showing passion, where you're expressing yourself in the right way, that's actually gonna get her turned on, not just in general, but turned on by you. Because if you're just talking about sex, sometimes they can just get turned on and some other guy can swoop her off her feet that she's more comfortable with. I've had that happen tons of times where I've talked with a girl about sex and then she's just gotten horny and hit her up, hit her, up her boyfriend or hit up whatever dude she was hooking up with at that point. Okay, this is going to make her turned on and want to have sex with you. And what you have to have is you have to have that man-to-woman connection. The man-to-woman connection basically involves teasing, it involves making her laugh, it involves kind of leading the conversation a little bit, uh, being commanding, having that presence there where uh, you know you're secure in yourself uh, with whatever you're talking about, whatever it is, and you're expressing it to her. I talk about this thing where I, it's called the power of passion, where it's basically you give like a one-minute spiel, um, any topic, any topic that interests interests you or maybe doesn't even interest you you can be passionate about something that doesn't interest you as well but you just show passion show emotion show that sides of yourself uh, that are really going to turn her on women do not care about the logical side they do not care if it's this topic or this topic they care about the emotion behind the words and if you have strong emotion behind your words then she's going to feel that emotion as well and if you communicate the right emotions to her then she's going to feel those emotions towards you and you know be turned on by you and that's really what you're looking for. You're looking for someone who's going to like you um, for, for who you are, not just because you talked about a certain conversation topic, but because you're expressing yourself in the right way. So if you want to check out that video where I talk about how to, how to go from a normal, boring conversation uh, to sexually arousing, I have that video. Just search for it. Um, on my channel, it should be there. I also came up with a video with a list of ways to tease a girl. See, teasing is huge. Being able to tease them in the right way, um, it makes it should make them feel girly. It should make them feel good. So, I have tons of examples where I talk about that in those videos as well. Um, but one thing that you guys can start doing right now is just uh, play playful games. So. Todd and a lot of these other guys, they do like playful assumptions or they have little lines that you can use, which is like, oh, you and me, like we never get along. We're too alike. We'd be at each other's, th each other's throats at all times. Like it just wouldn't work out. Or uh, you look like trouble. Like you're bad news for me. You got to get away from me. Like there's, <laughs> you're, you're just going to ruin my life if I come near you. Like those sorts of things where it feels like scandalous, where it feels like we shouldn't be doing this. Those sorts of things a lot of times um, can lead to sex as well. Also having that aura of mystery about them. Again, this is not so much a topic, but it's more of a vibe. So you have to start seeing yourself as a sexual being, someone who's capable of having sex, and be okay to talk about any sort of subject. Again, I could be talking about the weather, but it could have that man-to-woman undertone beneath it, and that's enough to get her in the bedroom. Or, you know, obviously there's a comfort level too, so you got to put in some time. But that's, that's enough to get her to like me. So a lot of times I see guys talking about themselves a lot. I see a lot of guys like expressing and they, they just want to communicate all of who they are to a person and they feel like if they show everything that who they are to the person, then they're just going to like them. Well, women don't really respond to that. They it, maybe just tell her one or two things about yourself. You don't need to reveal everything, but keep a lot of stuff a mystery, okay? She's going to be more turned on by your confidence, by by you expressing yourself than the actual stuff that you're telling her. And on top of that, you people usually don't believe what people tell them because a lot of times we tell people what we 
want them to hear about us, not so much who we actually are. You are what your you, you are what your actions and what you do in life. And so it's gonna take her a little bit of time to figure that out. And so the way you talk about things is what she's gonna be looking for, not so much the content of what you're talking about. So again, I don't think this is gonna be the uh, answer to the question that you guys wanted. Uh, I gave you a few conversation topics where you can see if the girl is more open to hooking up or having sex, but it's not necessarily the conversation topic that leads to sex, it's the person having the conversation. Thanks a lot, you guys. Good luck out there.